This isn't doing our Series 1 any justice at all. It took us so long to complete this set. We made so many awesome videos. We almost had a heart attack when we ripped Stormstrike from that single pack. We need to frame these warriors and proudly display them for everyone to see. I've been wanting to do this for a while now and I can't wait any longer. Let's make a custom display for our Series 1 Akedo collection that we can hang on the wall. And let's start now. Welcome back to Eddie's World everyone. Like I said in the intro, I've been thinking about this for a long time now and I have several ideas for the design. I really want the shape of the display to be Stormstrike's weapon because he's probably the most sought after warrior from series 1 and the fact that there's only 1000 of him in existence means that not too many people get the chance to see one in real life. Let's go with this version here. I think having one massive mace with a chain dangling at the bottom will look awesome. This is what we're gonna use to make the mace. No wait. This is what we're gonna use to make the mace. We have four cans of spray foam, two cans of spray paint, three boards of foam insulation, and one sheet of hardboard. First, let's glue two sheets of foam together using the spray foam. And guys, there's probably a better product to use here, but I'm really trying to do this on a budget, and whenever possible, I'm gonna use things I already have. Everything is bonded together, so let's lay out all the holes. We need exactly 39 spots, and because I like everything neat and symmetrical, I came up with this layout. The top three rows will have six spots, while the bottom three rows have seven spots. Using a foam cutter and some wood, I'm going to cut out all the bottom lines. The 2x2 two two helps to keep the cut square and straight. I want the top of the holes to be rounded, so I'm going to use a cup saw to make that cut. And finally, I'll use the foam cutter and wood method to cut the sides.
The cuts from the cup saw are pretty rough, so I'm going to use my foam cutter to melt the edges and give it a chiseled stone look. This last foam board needs to be cut into four equal lengths. I'll glue and screw everything together to make a box. The sides are all uneven, so I'll just patch it with some joint compound. And again, I'm just using what I have lying around. This probably isn't the best product to do this with, but I think it'll work. Now we need to make the chain links. And for this, we had to make a special trip to Walmart to buy four blue pool noodles and four 7 8 inch dowels. This part was pretty fun and easy considering I've never done this before. The secret to getting the shape to stay is to make sure you have a dowel on either side of the link. Push the inside dowel in until it's centered. Then hot glue the outside dowel to tie both ends together. And you want to be really careful when you do this because the heat melts the foam. So just keep the glue on the dowel and avoid putting it directly on the foam. Now, let's put everything together.
Here we are, completely primed and ready for color. Make sure you prime thoroughly before using any type of spray paint with acetone in it, otherwise you'll melt the foam. I'm going to paint the chain's metallic silver just to give it some contrast. And what do you guys think? Is this worthy of our Series 1 collection? Let's get Eddie and Clark's reaction. Yeah. Come boys. We have cake like that. Oh, sorry. Cake like <laughs> this way, I think, do you feel a table? Do you feel a table? Do you feel a table? Wait, Clark, you're near me. I'm near. I'm near. I right feel it. Okay, look. Ah, where is it? Look. Ah. I didn't, I didn't want to leave them out here, so I put them away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. It really helps our channel stay alive. If you want sneak peeks and exclusive perks, consider becoming a member. Thank you again for watching and we will see you in the next video.